Welcome to Savor Indiana. I'm your host, Kevin Gardner, and this week we're in Union City. But Union City is not just located in one state, it's located in Indiana and Ohio. While about a third of the population resides in Dark County, Ohio, the other two thirds live in Eastern Randolph County, Indiana. Union City was platted by Jeremiah Smith on December 17, 1849. With five railroad tracks passing through the community, the area grew and prospered for many years. But about 20 years ago, this community was labeled an American tragedy by a major newspaper. Recently, that same publication ran another front page article about Union City, proclaiming power to the people. We met up with Mayor Brian Conklin, who filled us in on the scope of all that's happening here. I call it the perfect storm, where the school system, uh, your business leaders, and local government came together to develop uh, basically our, our, an alternative energy community. We have two wind turbines, for one for the school and one for the community. That's actually the first in the nation. It's where we all came together to uh, really to drive force and, and draw attention to ourselves across the United States of being truly a green community. We dug deeper into those energizing ideas as we learned even more about biofuels being produced right here in Union City at Cardinal Ethanol. Jeff Painter, President and CEO, described this impressive facility. The plant started up in November 1st of 2008. We are a 110 million gallon dry grind, natural gas fired, corn based ethanol plant. We currently process uh, a little bit more than 40 million bushel of corn a year. Uh, it comes from about a 50 to 75 mile radius, mostly from local farmers and some commercial elevators in the area. In our processing, every piece of the kernel of corn is used uh, in the manufacturing process here. Uh, so at the end of the day, there's really no residue, no byproduct that doesn't get used back into the uh, ag economy sector. Rob Likens, president of Union City Economic Development, told us about IMPCO PCI, where they're converting gasoline-powered vehicles to run on compressed natural gas or propane, and turning the heads of companies like General Motors as a result. We needed a, a little push to get through the next three months back in 2009. We had a lot of contracts pending, including the, the GM contract, but the truth was our banks had cut us off as far as lines of credit, and we were, financially, we were struggling. Had it not been for this community and the partnership that we form with the city of Union City especially, and, and Randolph County, um, I'm not so sure we would have even been here today. They actually uh, processed a loan for us, a short-term loan, to get us through. And uh, as a result of that loan, we were able to get people back to work and nail some of the contracts that you see today. This is a big deal for Union City and for the energy world. I can't wait to find out what happens next in Union City, the Indiana, Ohio town that's twice as nice. For Saver Indiana, I'm Kevin Gardner.